Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel, my K-pop YouTube channel because I do have another YouTube channel where I make music if you guys want to go check that out, everything will be linked in the description. I wanted to make a K-pop YouTube channel for the longest time but I kind of stopped enjoying collecting. Um, I'm very self-conscious about my hands by the way. <laughs> I kind of stopped collecting around 2019 and honestly recently, um, if I'm being completely honest, I've been having kind of a hard time, Ooh, just almost knocked you guys over, um, I've been kind of having a hard time and I've been getting back into K-pop, I think it's something that brings me a lot of joy and happiness and I'm always like, yay, yeah, I'm so excited and I've decided to collect again. But I have decided to put very strict boundaries around who I want to collect, my budget, like what's important to me. And yeah, so in here there's like only groups that I collect, of course. And these are just albums. Um, and yeah, there's old albums, new albums, pre like a lot of different stuff. So we're going to check this out. And as um i open it i'm gonna go into kind of what are my boundaries what are what i want to do like okay Ooh, my god i'm so excited whoa wow i didn't actually think that breath of the wild was breath breath of the wild Oh my god, I'm so excited. It's been so long since I've done this for myself. Like, start with Magic Man because it's like such an exciting release. I'm a big um, God7 fan. God7 are pretty much my ults, my ultimate ults. Um, and like, I'm just so obsessed with them. I've been obsessed with them since like 2015 when they came out with Just Right. That's how, when I discovered them. And I'm just a huge fan of them. I'm so happy that they're doing things on their own right now. And I think that's kind of what got me back into it. The fact that they came out with like their um, new like album, I guess. Like a new mini together. Um, with my mama, like their tower track is so good and like their album is so good and I actually bought that album and I think that's what got me back into collecting so for collecting wow oh my god this is this is a magnet box that's like so good it's very not cheap <laughs> packaging so this is the blue version of the collector's box I believe oh but so this is the blue version. I'm not really going to go into detail into the, the photo book. This is just the concept. I honestly like the different concepts. He is just <sighs> such a beautiful human being. And um, like I'm definitely a big fan. I don't know what is in here. There's like so much stuff. Oh, so this is the CD. I'm guessing there's nothing under here. These are the stickers. So we have Magic Man. <laughs> we have this little sticker. This is so cool. I love stickers. I I never actually end up using a lot of the stickers I own, but I do really like this release. To, let's see if we can see like the track list. Oh wow, this is like a personalized little note. I'm gonna read that afterwards. And this is I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show the poster, but this is the pre-order poster. I believe. And I can't really show the whole thing here. Sorry if the lighting isn't great. I wanted to use natural, but then the sun was kind of like iffy. So. Um, so now let's see what our pulls are. So you get four for each version. So 
Here's the first one. I'm kind of sad it's not a selfie, but I mean, he looks good. I don't know how I'm going to go about collecting these. Um, and here's the second one. Oh, cute. It's cute. I don't know how I'm going to go about collecting these just because um, I don't know how I'm going to collect solos with God's Heaven. Um, like in terms of photo cards, I collect OG7 photo cards and um for all korean albums and then everything else i collect mark who's my bias um and is that's the only group that i collect ot7 of so i don't know how i'm gonna do for like single releases if i'm gonna collect i might just collect all like the album pieces and then for mark i'll collect also his like other inclusions and other like things but um yeah that was magic man oh my god this album is so good by the way I don't know if there's like a track list, but, oh here, but like, the fact that this is like more of like, um, I don't know if you can see that well, the fact that this is like more of like, um, has like a lot of like rock and punk rock influence, which is like music that I've been really enjoying lately, um, so I honestly am so proud and so happy, I think this is like just such an amazing release and you can really like i really like that he's trying different things you know and um i think he sounds amazing he looks amazing the concepts the music videos all of it is like so like just amazingly produced and yeah and i enjoy it so much so let's get on to the to the other package i got these posters i think these are uh Cheon's posters I did pre-order Cheon's, uh, like, opening things on camera is really harder than it looks. <laughs> it's like, there's way more stress to it, like, it. But I believe these are Cheon's, uh, pre-order posters. Yeah, it is. <gasps> Look how pretty she looks. Look at that. Oh my god. I did pre-order um, Lee Cheon's release, but if you guys don't know, I was a huge Produce 101 fan. Well, I mean, of course you guys don't know. I'm starting my channel now. I was a huge, um, where did I open this? Oh. I was a huge Produce 101 fan. I was a huge Produce 101 Season 2 fan. I was a huge fan of produce 48 i mean i've watched a lot and a lot of groups being formed through um like those types of shows you know there was um icon and winner and and then there was um, i think i just kind of destroyed the box look it's kind of damaged here but i honestly think that's not like my fault i don't know if you can tell but there's like scratches um i think this is just like the material of the box like here if you can tell like it, the material of the box is kind of cheap so um so first off on this track list um this is like such a good release this is like i'm so proud lee chayon has been i've been following her since 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 16 and i've been so proud of everything that she does and I was so proud to see her in Produce, even though, you know, it was rigged or whatever. Um, so we don't actually know if she would have made it in. But, I, Hush Rush is, like, such a good song. Danny is, like, my second favorite. I think, it, for me, the album, it kind of goes in the order of, like, the track list. I love Danny. I didn't like it. It wasn't my favorite at first. I liked Aquamarine better. But then, it really, really grew on me. And the performance for Danny is just so, so cute. So, yeah. so I'm definitely not a huge fan of this packaging just because the box is cheap. I mean, this is cute. I don't know, this is super cute. Look, it's like a little bag. It's like a little bag. Like, you're just, you're just cute. Oh my god. Oh my god. And I know that you get a lot of stickers in this, so again, very happy. This is the CD. It's in a plastic clear case. It has a little heart. 
a little PVC bag. But yeah, I think this is just like a stellar um, release. So these are the stickers. So this is the influencer version. I'm going to buy the vampire version and um, the... Oh wait, this isn't a sticker. This is a thanks. This is like a thanks. Um, but I am going to buy... Oh, these aren't really stickers. These are like... More of like a... Like they're like hard, kind of cardboardy. But I am going to buy the other version of this album just because I'm so in love with her. Um, and yeah. <laughs> but I don't know what this is. Oh, this is like the little phone case holder thing. You can attach this to your phone if you want. But I'm definitely going to buy, and I might buy her, um, the like little online release, or I don't know what those are, but wow, she's incredibly beautiful. Selfie was like one of my favorite in the MVs. In the MV. I'm like, oh, we saw her pose. Oh, and we get a little, let's get a little mini poster. Super cute, super cute. These are my, oh, I got her eating the sandwich. So there's eight photo cards in total, which is, you know, I thought about this, it's just like just a little, it's very flimsy, so it's like poster material, but it's like kind of like a postcard, and then these little stickers, which are so, so, so cute, which I will I bet actually end up using this probably. So yeah, there we go. This is Chayun's album. I'm so happy for her to see her thrive. And I mean, this is such a stellar like um, album. And I will be collecting all her PCs for her. I don't believe I'm going to collect anything iZone related just because I wasn't really there for iZone. I was there for their debut. But after that, I just didn't really follow them. And I don't really see the point in going back and forcing myself to, you know, collect things that I'm not a fan of. Especially since we know that now Produce was rigged, so it kind of defeats the purpose. Um, but I will be collecting all her album PCs. So there are eight for this version and eight for the other version, which these are just so beautiful. They're so pretty. Her PCs, I saw previews and they're like, like I have a template and they are so, so, so damn cute. So yeah, let's get into the next album. No way I got my biases version. Oh my god, I'm so happy. <laughs> um, I did get this, which is um, Breath of Love, which I did say Breath of the Wild because I play video games and I'm used to, you know, seeing Breath of the Wild. I'm... Uh, before I stopped collecting, I was definitely like, oh, I didn't see that there was a sticker, and I just broke it. Well, I mean, stuff like that happens. It's not like I was going to keep this. But whatever. <laughs> this unboxing is going great. So here's a little CD, I guess. I'm going to try and check it out without, like, damaging it. But it does have like mark on it. So this is this is very lucky of me <laughs> because I didn't put. You can like ask for things when you make the invoice. Oh yeah, I didn't say it. I got these. I got these shipped from a a K-pop store in Paris. 
just because it's pretty much the same price as if I were to like pay shipping. So, um, yeah. In the end, it like it's pretty much the same. So here is Breath of the Wild. Here's the track list. This is really like you can't even see it. Great. But I did get Mark's version, which is amazing. He is a very beautiful human being, as you can see. And I have listened to his most recent release. Um, I will be buying that next, I believe. But yeah. Okay. I mean, we're not going to do all of this, but... Got our poles. And... They have their names on the back, so it's not really a surprise. But yeah. Ooh, the, the red concept is very... Ooh! Blue eyes, contacts. Um, yeah, there you go. To be honest, it's been a while since I've listened to this album. Um, it hasn't really been on my... I haven't listened to it recently. Um, I just remember that when it came out, I really thought Breath... Because they had, like, Breath of Love and Last Piece, which Breath was, it was kind of like a double title track, but Last Piece was, like, the main title track. But I definitely thought that Breath should have been the main title track. I liked it better, but it's whatever. Here is the mini poster. I got JB. And then we got Young J's little film strip. Which I'm going to collect oh, seven for these anyways, so. And then we got these as our poles. Oh my god, look, they are so adorable. This is this is such a cute little PC. And then you came with the balloon, which I don't understand this. Like there's a whole set of pe of them holding green balloons, which I guess it's like supposed to be like I say colors or whatever, but like yeah. It kinda got me confused to be honest. So these are my polls. This is all I remember is that it's a slower album, but I honestly I need to go back and listen to it. Um But I'm so happy because when I stopped collecting in like 2019, I was pretty up to date with like their album collection. Um I even have a signed version of Present You. Like I was like it was only up until Present You and Me. I was pretty up to date. And then kinda stopped collecting after that. So I'm happy to be able to get this and also get my biases because I don't know if I'm going to collect all of them um, yet, like all of these versions, but I'm so excited to have my bias because, you know, I didn't think that I would get him. So now we're going to go through the last pack of albums. Also, I'm sorry if I'm explaining anything badly or I'm not going too much into detail. Um, to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of, like, people who do complete unboxings of, like, everything. Which, let me put this If you heard that PVC, you can definitely tell who these are. I never actually got this. I bought the horizontal version two times. <laughs> and I never actually got, um, I mean, I bought the vertical version two times. And I never actually, I just kicked the tripod again. This is, this is hectic. I never, because I'm stupid, I bought the vertical version two times and I never actually got this version, which is the horizontal version. Oh! We are going to go through that. Yeah, I don't know how much you guys want to see, but... I love this picture. This picture is one of my favorites, and Mad was one of my was from it was the first comeback I had like with God Seven. It does like mean a lot to me. Um, let's see how does this? I guess just slides out. Here. Okay. 
god, this brings back so many memories. <gasps> oh my god. Wait, do I have him? I don't think I have Jackson. Which, for me, this is like the most important part of this, because um, I am collecting 27. I believe I have, I have Bam Bam and Mark. I don't have Jackson, which is great, because I could have gotten a dupe. But yeah, like these pictures... I mean, this brought us, like, JB Match and Arrow, so, you know. And Blonde Mark, which I don't think we're going to see in a long time. But yeah, there we go. I did get these, which is for Digipack. I honestly don't even know what a Digipack is, to be honest. <laughs> And they're born pink. This is just the black version. The, this is so pretty. Um, yeah, so black pink is also a group I collect. Um, I collect Lisa because she is my bias. Um, we're going to go through her digi pack first. And um, I really... Wow. This is... Stunning. I really um, love her. I just, yeah, I'm just in love with her. That's pretty much it. Yeah, these are, these are, oh my god, she's so beautiful. But yeah, I guess a digi pack is like just a small version. Um, shut it down, so good. But I need to like listen to the rest of the album because. I've just had so much stuff to catch up on that I haven't even listened to the full album. But yeah, this is her photo card. I guess, of course, since it's her digipack, you definitely like, get her. Um, and then this is just the track list with lyrics. And I guess it's like a mini poster. Yeah. Mini poster. I don't understand why everyone does these any like now. Mini posters are like kind of the norm now. So I don't really know why. Now we're gonna go into the born pink. God, I love black pink. I don't know. I'm just so happy they finally came back. And I think for me, I guess all the inclusions were in here. I guess for me, um, what's really nice is that um black pink are a group that i collect um all albums of but um you know they don't come back that often <laughs> so it's less stressful you know i'm trying to like put the least stress possible on my collecting experience just so I keep at it because um, I feel like otherwise I'm just gonna give up and that's why like I've set these types of boundaries so if you want to know more details um, I could make a video more about the details of like how I set my boundaries up and everything um, how I'm choosing to collect but um, I'm choosing to collect uh, GOT7 as a boy group like all their albums and then as I said, OT7 for Korean releases, um, which include only some larger inclusions, but I like them. Jiso is slain. Um, and then I'm also going to collect Blackpink with all of Lisa's photo cards. I also collect Red Velvet with all of Joy's photo cards because Joy is my bias. I also collect twice and all of Momo's photo cards because bias. But again, those are like more of like for now, it's just Korean releases for them. And then we'll see. Maybe Joy, I'll collect more because she is one of my olds. Um, but yeah. And then for God Seven, I collect all of Mark's Japanese release, like Japanese photo cards and stuff like that. His other like inclusions and photo card size things, I'll collect for him everything else but that's pretty much it and then for albums albums are honestly one of my favorite things to collect 
I just love opening albums, seeing what I get, like my pulls, that's like what it brings me like a lot of joy. And my foot is get falling asleep. Um, but yeah. Oh my god, look at that hair. I love it. God, I love her so much. She is so beautiful. But yeah. So that's just a little flip through of the album while I talk about my life. <laughs> so now let's get into our inclusions. Let me try and not like destroy this. God, there's like so much stuff. Oh my god, why is there so much stuff? <laughs> So for little postcards, I got small postcard, Jisoo, it's the small postcard, and I got bigger postcard, Liesl, bigger postcard, and then I got, it comes with these stickers, I guess, and, <gasps> yay, oh my god, that's good because then I need to trade Lisa. I got one of Lisa's Polaroids. Then I got Jisoo, which this card is so beautiful. Like, oh my god, she's ethereal in this. Like, this is... And then I got Jenny, one of Jenny's Polaroids. Um, if anybody wants to trade for Lisa, um, please leave me a comment. Uh, so that's all for today. Um, of course, you can leave comments, anything, just leave, talk to me, I am open for discussion, if you, I will be making more videos, uh, so please subscribe, and then you can also check out my socials, um, down below, and also my second account where I make music, um, and yeah, this was super exciting, super fun for me, and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And I'll see you. I'm also sorry if like the logistics or wasn't very well filmed. Uh, I'm starting out with this, so you know it's not gonna be perfect. But I'm just trying to get better as time goes on. Um, yeah, this was a lot of fun, and I'll see you guys in the next video.